Hey, what's going on guys? Here with another PSO2 video. So the Kavaris region has dropped in PSO2 and GS. And um, overall, very good update. Uh, I didn't think I'd be making a video right away on this update, but I finished the story. Um, uh, instantly, I guess we can go into a con was again, one of the, st the story was pretty short. Uh, I'm not like a story Andy, but I will say like these stories have been extremely short. Um, they kind of just introduce you to the region. They have some, you know, like, interesting interactions usually a big boss enemy at the end which i do love the enemy design as well as the actual uh play style of the enemy at the end of the kvaris region but uh like i said it's just it, the story was too short i i feel like i, I blasted right through it in a couple of hours and then i, I could probably could have uh, been faster if i wasn't like not only just not watching the cutscenes or watching the cutscenes but just like kind of going around getting some cocoons like i did other things aside from just follow the story I haven't gotten all the cocoons yet. I haven't explored all the regions yet. Um, I'm still kind of finding out some things. I'm basically just doing the side quest at this point. Um, kind of venturing around, doing whatever. Just basically doing, like, you know, the collection stuff. Uh, trying to get my, like, you know, gear in check for whatever the content is, uh, which goes into another con, was I don't know if this update actually added any sort of end game aside from the rank twos. Um, I don't know if there's an incentive to do the rank two for, uh, what is it, Dark Falls? I don't know what level it's going to be um because our cap right now is level 60 now up from 45 so we got a 15 level increase uh but there are some quests which bug or not we don't know if it's intended which i assume it is because there's a bunch of them give i think it was 10 mil xp i think it was one mil not 10 mil but maybe one quest gave 10 mil and they typoed everything else because i'm pretty sure i'm not getting 10 mil every single quest but there's a bunch of different quests that actually say they give 10 million uh, I instantly jumped to level 54 just by going into the Kavaris region. So make sure you're on the main class that you want to have the XP because you will jump if they keep this in the game. I'm assuming they're going to keep it. I don't see why they'd ever get rid of it. Doesn't make any sense to me if they would. But you will level jump quickly. So the level grind is completely nulled, which I don't really like grinding for levels personally. But it is it, it can be fun, I guess, if you're into that. But honestly, grinding for levels is whatever. I like grinding for gear and endgame materials over levels. Levels is always like the introduction like tutorial we've done it so many times it was really painful on release so i'm glad to see they're alleviating a lot of the pain and concerns with the players when it comes to leveling by giving us these quests they gave us a gargantuan amount of side quests i think at least like anywhere from 18 to 20 side quests at the very least and they continue some of them continue on so it could be even more than that that gave anywhere of upwards to 300,000 to uh 10 million xp and um like you see you basically uh, need, I don't know, like, I'm not sure how much you need to level up. I think it's like 2 mil, 3 mil around there. Um, I'm always like halfway through the level mark. Like, I'm level 57 right now. If I check on what the XP requirement is, I need about, okay, so it's 1.5 mil. So around that area. So some quests saying they give 10 mil don't actually level me up, like, you know, up to 60. But there are a bunch, so it's definitely a typo. But there are a bunch of quests that give a large amount of XP. Um... The 10 million ones, unspecified amount, there is one 10 million, like I said, when you actually are going through the quest. So if you're a new player, really good for you. Um, and then again, if you're just a returning player as well, I mean, you're, if you you know don't like the leveling process, well, you're going to skip quite a few levels. Like I said, I'm currently level 57. I've been playing for probably like five, six, maybe even seven hours now. Um, finished the story. Uh, haven't explored all the region yet. Getting most of the cocoons. So yeah, there's a lot of content on day one for sure. I don't know if this content is going to sustain us for the next six months because that's the next big update but hopefully they do add you know they always do updates every month so i hope they're going to add more like i said end game focus like a raid or a dungeon of some sort we already have the trinidad's pyramid i don't know if that scales up to 60 i know it scales up to 45 but i i the, you know there's no real incentive to do it aside from some of the augments which i probably will go back and do that especially at level 60 now i'm going to slap the pyramid um, you do a gargantuan amount of damage now. I am hitting over well over 10k, which I was not doing before um, with literally all of my skills. They buffed Hunter to an insane extent, at least the sword, uh, with their skills. I don't really know why they buffed it so much and didn't buff the other ones as much. I think Wildland, like Wildlands got a buff, but I don't think Partisan did. So they got another attack, which is pretty cool, which technically is a buff, but they should have done more. But, you know, that's just a class gripe. Um, we, so we did get a bunch of class changes as well. Um, we got a new EQ, we got a lot, a lot of new enemies. A lot of the new enemy designs are really good. I do like them. I pretty much like all the new enemies that are introduced. Some are like, you know, they can be annoying, but, you know, they're pretty cool. Um, there's also a theme in Kavaris of teleporting. I don't want to spoil too much, but, uh, that's also pretty cool. 
You can see I'm doing an AQ right now, and this guy is just teleporting everywhere. It's really, really awesome just watching a ginormous enemy teleport. I'm not sure what other uh, emergency quests are actually in the game yet. Uh, I just know that I don't think any of these have ring twos. I did this one, I just got enough battle power. Um, and I know that Dark Falls Interception is going to have a ring two uh, variation to it, like a four man. So I'm very interested to see how they're going to do that. I'm very interested to see how they're going to progress the end game. I'm hoping for more challenging content that like tests us aside from purple triggers, as well as this rank two. Um, that also rewards us because you know we do have challenging content, but um, not in the form of like you know Lost Ark where they have like central raids. We don't have those necessarily. We have like a couple of things that are akin to it, especially now. But we don't have rewards that also compensate it. I would like direct power increases, like augments or really or you know, really good augments or like you know. I don't know, a new, a new form of power. Whatever they decide to do as a reward, whatever needs to be worth our time for doing challenging content. You know, there's no incentive to get stronger if you're not really getting that rewarded for it. You know, there's clear completion, you know, whatever, bragging rights, whatever you want to say. But you can pretty much clear a lot of this stuff without actually having, like the new EQ uh, is, you know, super easy. You know, all emergency quests usually are casual friendly. Like you can do it pretty easily as long as you have a six or even a five star pretty geared out. You can pretty much easily do this emergency quest. It might take you a little bit longer depending on your weapon, but it was super easy for me as a hunter. Um, like, I, like I said, I didn't have an issue clearing it. I just hit the battle power necessary for it. Although people were dying quite a bit. I will say things hurt a lot. That's always what happens in the new zone though. Everything hurts so much. There's plenty of new armors though. I've gotten a couple already. I haven't gotten a new weapon yet, but I have gotten a few armors, so they don't seem relatively that, um, I don't know, rare. There's also specific uh, traits to armors that can give you advantages when you're in certain zones. Like, there's like a temperature thing in some zones, and if you equip a certain piece of armor, you can actually nullify the temperature, uh, you know, the temperature difference, like, you know, the freeze effect, which just damages you over time. So, you know, you definitely need to actually gear up your armor if you want to farm in those zones. I'm not sure how central it's going to be to actually farming. Um, I'm not sure there's going to be like a core element of progression when it comes to those zones i hope so honestly i know the gigas are going to be in there or whatever they're called the ancient mobs um they're going to be in there so if you want to farm them you're going to have to like you know gear up for it uh but that's coming i think next week or two weeks from now june 22nd or june 15th around there so the later half of june is when we're going to get more of the stuff you know this is the first day so there is going to be more content next week as well as the week after so i am very excited um very, very looking forward to the future of ngs especially I think I'm more excited for like the mid-tier updates because like they might add a random EQ that's really challenging versus like the giant updates. But this update's really fun. I like the snowboarding. Um, I like the new crystal system actually. It does a lot of damage, although not necessary. It's just kind of cool to have. There's also some other little neat tricks that you can do in inside of the um, like inside of the zones, the combat sectors, uh, like destroying a glacial pillar to like drop on the enemies. It's really cool. They they'll show you in the story, but. Uh, overall, very good update. Like I said, um, I like it. I'm just an endgame Andy. I, I do want more endgame focus. Um, this update is a step in the right direction with endgame. Um, overall, a really good update for people who just want to play the game. It's new content, so try it out. I advise even if you're not playing the game and you're on the fence about it, just you know download the game. Try it out. Uh, there's a lot of campaigns for new players. Um, it might be a little bit hard to be streamlined. I'm sure there's guides out there that can help you uh, go from 1 to 60 pretty easily, as well as get the gear uh, required for it, even though the events are over in some, you know, you know fashions you can still get good gear just by buying it off the market even if you're a new player for really cheap or you can just they hand you free weapons all the time if you just max those out i'm pretty sure you'll be okay in this new region even if you're working with like a three or four star you know you'll survive it might take you a longer way longer time but you'll survive hopefully you have the battle power to actually hit the like you know the check marks currently right now i'm at 2559 battle power which is higher than anything i have seen before um at the moment, it's higher than ever, all the content that's offered, but, you know, I haven't gone to Ring 2 yet. I haven't gone to a certain zone yet, so we'll see what else I'll need. I'm only level 57, still leveling up. I'll get back to you guys on um, more kind of, like, elements to the update if it's, like, you know, worth covering, of course. So, if it's not, I'll probably just keep quiet, but we'll see. Um, but like I said, I like the update. I'm having fun. Uh, I'll probably be playing this for the next couple of days, along with some other stuff. So look out for that. Maybe some more Elden Ring um, and other, you know, just random MOBA games I've been playing. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.